In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, the 23rd of August, 2014, we celebrate St. Rose of Lima. And St. Rose of Lima was born on the 20th of April, 1586, in Lima, Peru. She died the 24th of August, 1617, at the age of 31. And she was beatified on the 15th of April, 1667, by Pope Clement IX, and canonized on the 12th of April, 1671, by Pope Clement. Her feast day is on August 23, the 23rd of August, and her uh, she has the uh, patronage. She, she is the patron saint of uh, gardeners and florists of Latin America. And one of her signs is that of a rose. And she said that we need uh, afflictions and sufferings in her life. Let all men know, Jesus once said to her, that grace comes after tribulation. Let them know that without the burden of afflictions, it is impossible to reach the height of grace. Let them know that the gifts of grace increase as the struggles increase. Let men take care not to stray or to be deceived. This is the only true ladder to paradise. And without the cross, there is no other way in which to ascend to heaven. And she said further, No one would complain about his cross or about the troubles that may happen to him if he would come to know the scales on which the crosses are weighed when they are distributed to men. And so St. Rose of Lima is a wonderful saint for us to pray to and for ask for her intercession and to imitate in her embrace of the cross. We all have crosses in our own lives and Jesus wants us to know that with his grace, if we embrace Jesus, embrace the difficulties that come to us in our lives and give to them to Jesus through Mary, then this will be a great source of blessings and graces for us. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world, in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. And remember, God loves you. So proclaim his love to others.